All right, Scorpio, what is going on, my dears? It is Mira, it is Shira, it is Vera, it is Scorpio Red Zero. I am back at it one more time for the one time, yes, indeed, to let you guys know what the energies are surrounding you for the month of July 2021. Baby, we're here to have some fun. Shout out to all my OGs, shout out to all my newbies, shout out to all my babies who have come through to like, share, subscribe, and click this video. Thank you so much for showing me all of the love and giving all of the hugs and all the generosity you guys we have eight new amazing decks on the table from uh you guys support me booking personal and private readings while i was on my break thank you so much for all of the support and love i know we want to bring out some amazing energy today if there's anyone that would like to book a personal or private reading um go ahead and click the about tab on my youtube page or click the description box of this video and um yeah, i have various links send me a message on instagram messenger if you don't have instagram messenger shoot me an email at scorpion at gmail.com and i help get you all on the schedule we get you all hooked up you know find out what god got cooking for you you feel me all right and um you guys know as always we always give god love praises we give him his flowers we give him you know all of our love before we ask any guidance for what's going on and uh, what we should look out for and just you know just helping us just making sure that we're moving forward so just bow your heads with me let's just give god his, his glory father god thank you so much for just waking us up and just you know keeping us just moving in a progressive state of just happiness and just abundance and the light is just signing over us father god we just feel heavily protected and just guarded and you've just been carrying us and molding us and just showing us how strong we are father god we thank you for healing us we thank you for revealing things to us father god we thank you for showing us our own gifts our our own light our power father god we just feel more strength we feel our virtue father god we just feel so blessed so determined we feel so giving during this season we we feel so deserving during this season father god and we just thank you so much for just pulling us through and just helping us and just always just being that guiding force in our life father god can you please give us um the guidance that we need to receive today for the sign of scorpio we thank you so much for just shining your love through our life and we thank you for just touching everybody that has just come in our circle there's been a lot of people being brought into our new inner circle father god and we just thank you so much for all of these new connections we thank you so much for all these open doors we thank you so much for everything that you got in store for us father god that we have yet to receive father god but we believe because again we know we're deserving father god and we thank you so much we thank you we thank you we thank you father god please give us guidance for the sign of scorpio for july 2021 thank you ever ever so much a million times over in jesus name amen all right, y'all, la, la, let's give that some praise. All right, y'all, let's find out what we got going on, Scorpio. We got the oh, crystal grid deck here. So let's see what we got. Let's see. No. All right. Wait, come on, y'all, because I just, I feel like we just going to do what it do. Because I feel like some of them was flipped over. And I just need one card. One card. What is this? Is it was a Labradorite? Is that what it says? Labradorite. Transformation, magic, imagination. A stone of transition. Labradorite assists in times of change and transformation. It expands our connection to the universe. Unlocks the third eye. And all the wonders that lies beyond the physical realm, as well as your magical powers. Labradorite invokes the magic we all have, reminding us to wield our power by going within and connecting to the core truth of who we are. Chase after your dreams and align yourself with the vibration of anything is possible. An energy that Labradorite is all too familiar with. And this sign is the sign of Leo, Scorpio, Sagittarius, Neptune, and Jupiter. Labradorite. They said we're coming up in our own reading and our own stones. I really like this. Okay, come on with that magical energy. I like that now. 
That is most definitely all of that of what that said is definitely Scorpio in its core. Hello. How you doing? Hello. Good morning. All right. All right. Let's see what we got going on. Give me guidance. I like Labrador, right? I'm going to have to find me some Labrador right crystal. Okay. Hello. How much that costs? I know it's expensive because if it got anything to do with anything Scorpio's like, it's always expensive. What is this? The Six of Swords. All right. So this is definitely someone in the middle of transition and definitely uh, like literally moving. Like literal transitional commute. I don't know. I feel like just someone commutes. I don't know for your for your job or something if like you you have to take a train or you have to commute a long distance or something. I feel like there's a commute. And again, the two of cups. So okay, so this is okay. So I feel like you've come a long way, Scorpio. And it's like you're finally making connections and you're finally meeting people. Like that are of your own kind. You've received some type of help or assistance during this time. Someone's been helping assist you get from. It's like you're in a middle phase right here at Scorpio with this Six of Swords. It's like you haven't yet reached your, reached your destination. But it's like Jesus, Jesus has taken the wheel. It's like you're not even driving the boat right now. It's just you know that what's going on in your life currently is for your betterment you understand why you're having to separate yourself so like you could have like separated yourself like physically moved from your old residence you don't live there anymore uh you might have new friends um something just invoked you to move it's like because you knew that there was some type of disconnect. There was some type of stagnation or dead energy with the people that you currently had connections with. The area that you were in. It's like you might have done everything that you were meant to do there. And like that's why nothing has been picking up. That's why nothing has been taken off. So it's like you're in this middle ground. Um, like you. I don't feel like you are set on. A permanent residence or something it's like um you might be in a place of a stepping stone it's like yeah I came here for a minute just to regain my composure my footing and stuff and I'm getting assistance and to develop myself to get to my final destination it's like I don't feel like you've reached your final destination it's, and, and it's like you're at the point where you're receiving some type of assistance to help get you balanced and it's like where you feel mentally assured and um it's like confident of your footing and, and, and of your grounding it's I, I definitely feel like you're in a middle stage and you're still receiving some type of assistance and you're still traveling it's like you're still traveling and then with this two of cups here this is definitely saying it was necessary for you to move it was necessary for you to redirect your energy your energy it was necessary for you to disconnect from the people that you were connected with and just move on you knew why god was moving things and tearing things apart and made you restructure yourself and relocate elsewhere because the people that you are meeting the connections the energy the love the vibration it matches it really really does it's like there's no strangeness like there's no awkwardness it's just have you ever met people and you felt like I've known these people forever, but I've literally only met these people and been hanging with them for a couple of months because I'm new to this area. But they're so fun. Like, all of our, we bounce ideas off of each other. It's like some type of creative juices. Like, this could, this could be, like, new friends, like, a new social group. Or this could just, like, you could have social, uh, soulmates on many forms, on many levels. I don't know what level this is, but it's like 
you moved somewhere or you moved on and it's like you grew so much that you've vibrated on a different level where you're making connection with amazing people and I, I feel like you feel more grounded you feel more grounded and you feel like it says magical it's like all of these amazing people are just coming to you and it's just like I feel like you're having amazing times and it's just it's crazy and it's like I understand why I had to leave. I'm glad that I did leave. I'm glad I didn't ask any questions. It's like, I don't even feel like you remember your past life at all because you, it's like you guys are over here like creating potions and doing all of this. Stuff. It's like you don't even remember who you were before you came over here with this newness. It's like, it's like you've recreated yourself. It's the, uh, I like that. What is this? The bear. I like the bear. The bear is like dominant. The bear is someone that's tall, is protective, is in control, um, has good managerial skills, a leader, a provider, a protector. Um, just not a docile person. You know, uh, the bear is someone that is... I want to say it just has a very tall structure or something. Like someone has structure. Someone that has a very strong presence. And this is the ten of... This is the ten of clubs. So the ten of clubs mean that this person is successful. But I don't... Why, why is this bear... What, I feel like this is... Is, is this a mask? What's up with this card? This bear is like, it has a, it's a mask. Like, it's a person. Like, this is like, and then the book came out. The book means, and then it's two tens. And then what is this? And then the dog. Three tens. The fuck? You're shitting me. You're fucking shitting me. Y'all, y'all gotta see this. You got the bear... With the Ten of Clubs, the book with the Ten of Diamonds, and then the dog with the Ten of Hearts. Did y'all see this? So, I, I don't know. It's like, uh... This is saying something about... Okay, okay, okay. So what they're saying to me is like you're learning some type of technique or skill or something like that. There's three fucking tens here. So like that means like whatever you went through where you moved and you came over here, you most definitely Whatever the hell that is that you went through in that phase, it's like you successfully once, twice, three times the charm. Do you understand what I'm saying? So I don't know if in the first phase of you going through some cycle, it was like you were acting like you were the boss and you knew what you were doing. But I don't know if it was a front. It was a fraud. You see, like, clearly this is a person with a bear mask on and you see like this criminal. So it was like, I don't know if you... um were trying to act like you completed a stage and you really weren't ready for it. I don't know. This is how I have to read this. So I'm going to have to read this. But still, at the at the, it's like, okay. The Ten of Clubs is when you have gone through the work phase. It's like you're learning how to pay your dues. This was the first season where it's like... You had to pay your fucking dues. Do you understand what I'm saying? And it's like, I want to say you escaped on the skin of your teeth do you understand what i'm saying but it's like you learned enough in order to get to the second phase where it's the 10 of diamonds so in order for you pressure creates diamonds right so this was the learning phase where it's like 
it's something about you. It, you looked like you knew what you were doing or what you were going through, but you really didn't. You just bossed your, you boss hogged your way through that shit. You see what I'm saying? But seriously, it's like. I want to say it's like you earn some credits that for some courses that technically you didn't even have the skills or the credentials to be in that class. But somehow you it's like your work ethic or your determination to learn something or to acknowledge something. You weren't ready for it, but it's like you still bossed your way through it. And that's why you got to the second phase. Pressure creates diamonds. So you had to put the work in in order to actually get to this phase where the number two is. Where you're actually being able to really unlock the secrets and the purpose of what that phase one was about. And it's like. Yeah, you had that mask on, but you were really learning something. You were really learning the skill of how to boss up and protect yourself and stand up for yourself. So now you know how to do that. Let me really give you some information. Let me really give you the jewels. Let me give you like the higher level of what this phase was really about. And then you had to go through a test here. You understand what I'm saying? And then now you're finally in this phase here, Scorpio. Where it's like you are seeing the fruits of your labor. You're seeing the generosity of the phases that you have accomplished. You see what I'm saying? Now everything, all that determination and all of that work and all of that blood, sweat and tears that you put in through championing your way through these phases. Now all of that is being loyal to you with the Ten of Hearts. Now you're actually comfortable. You're living well. You actually, all of that skin. And look, you don't have to put on no mask trying to act like you're a boss, you're a leader. Like, you know how to protect. You, like, this is something that you, it's like, and you don't even have to protect yourself because you've been, you've been given some type of secret. You've been given access. You've been given some type of knowledge. You understand what I'm saying? That it's like some hidden shit. You know what I'm saying? Where... You don't even have to protect yourself. It's like the universe is your companion and, or, or, or something is connected to you. But you you take care of each other. Do you understand what I'm saying? It's like you can have a connection with nature. You can have a connection with, again, like I said, it just could be a companion, a group or something. But I, I'm talking about like legitimately on a spiritual level. One, two, three times the charm. You guys have like championed your way through a phase of your life where you kept repeating and, and I was literally just talking about this in my own life but this is like I guess it's like coming out in the fucking cards but on a literal level it's like on a soul level on a physical level you we are on a state of alignment where things are starting to show up in our life to show the work and determination that we put in and we should be congratulating ourselves because that's some hard shit like this phase was some hard shit do you feel me and then when we went through this phase where we were still learning shit and we thought that we weren't gonna go through no test shit the test that this motherfucker left. listen people don't even understand what scorpios be going look but it was god knew you was ready you know what I'm saying? And that's why it's like you haven't yet been grounded and really land your feet on your destination because I feel like you were still going through these tests and these. You were still going through this in transition. It's part of the transition. What is this? The two of swords and then you got the ace of cups in the reverse. So it's like, I oh, they're saying I will not back down. I will not. Okay, so the two of swords. 
this is someone that knows the opportunities that they have in front of them but at the same time I know exactly the power that I have in my position of choosing okay it's my choice I am the one truly that holds the power here so this is someone that it doesn't they don't just look at something they're not that you know they're a very good judge of character and I don't need to look at someone to make judgment like this is like the judgment card before remember when I said uh it's like you don't really have the credentials to do something it's like you not the judge you you technically are not on the hierarchy to be like the judge but it's like the judge in training it's like you already learning to use your intuition and have that type of power or something like that so it's like you know how the judgment card is is a person that has the Libra skills, I believe, or something like that, but they're blindfolded. And I think that they have a sword too, right? And they're having to make a decision without seeing the person is going with their intuition, going with their gut, going with their inner mind is telling them. You know what I'm saying? So something here is telling you that uh it's <sighs> I feel like here it's like you want to make the opportunity your own it's not about what people offer to you it's a it's not about what people offer to you you know what I'm saying it's like you have to make a choice that is truly compatible You have to make a choice that's truly compatible. And I feel like just off of just your pure intuition, um, I feel like you're confident and you're comfortable in your connections. And I feel like the place that your life is going, but in some type of sense, like this two of cups here, it's like, I don't know if you might have found a new best friend. I, or new partner or something because it's like there is some connection here there's a high level connection here well I don't know if there's two choices because she is wielding two swords it's like two sets of truths or something like that and really trying to go inside and really feel like Figure out what she's going to stand on and what is just. What is just? You know what I'm saying? What is just? Where does my heart lie? What what, what is my heart telling me? Where is where are my emotions? Um, the Ace of Cups is saying that in the reverse is saying that there is. I want to say there's a good companionship. There's a good friendship. But it's, it's something where it's like, uh, it's not a true connection where it's like, um, your emotions run deep. It's not something that, it'd take more time to develop. Do you understand? Like, these could be just new friends. Like, these are, these are not, I feel like these are, these are, Connections that still need to be developed. It's like you're not sure um, if these are people that I can call best friend. I feel like, especially from where you've come from, it's like you know that like, I, I, I got to learn people a little bit more. It's like I'm not as trusting. I don't just jump into saying that, oh, I love someone or these, uh, these people. It's like I'm still going within trying to figure out where I stand on something but I'm having an amazing time I feel like I'm making a lot of connections and a lot of good friends a lot of true companions but I can't say that I love anybody or something that I can stand on firmly and say that you know I found a clear connection whereas though I'm willing to kind of open up and share all my gifts with someone this says learn to grow from the wisdom of your feelings by allowing yourself to befriend 
rather than deny them. Ooh. So that is saying something, isn't it, you guys? That is saying something. So again, it's like, because uh, it was hard for me to kind of say it because it's like, when I see the two of cups over here and like all of this cool shit, it's like, y'all do cool shit with each other. It's like really cool shit. I really like this energy. It's like, but I feel like this is friend. This is friend. This is like your homie. This is your dog. Like. It's like you learned how to make better partnerships. And I feel like better judge a character. But it's something. Scorpio don't trust no motherfucker body. And I'm just telling you. It's like. It's like you're not really letting people all the way in. Is kind of what I'm getting. It's like you don't. You're not as open and as receptive. Because I feel like in this group of Scorpios. It's like, especially with a connection like this and with friends like this, it's like you automatically open up your heart and it's like you start hanging with them and it's like you you start, you know, and it's like Scorpios will get hurt very easy because especially when you have a deep connection with people and you really feel like you guys click really well, it's easy to feel like somebody that you've known for three months, like you've known them for three years and you haven't. And... It's that like you never really know who is who is has on a mask. You know what I'm saying? So, and I don't like how this burglar suit is on this nigga. Like, I don't know what the fuck is going on with this motherfucker. And so, I don't know. So, and, and then it's like, I don't know if it's like if I want to say watch your friend too. Um. Or, or if you just, if you're untrusting of friends for some reason, because you felt like someone was like a fake before someone had a mask on. Um, I don't know, because I don't like the way that, I don't like that. Reparenting yourself. Okay, come on here, Scorpio. Come on, tell me what's going on in love. You got reparenting yourself, and then what is this? The silver waterfall. Okay, so the the parenting, the reparenting yourself, and the silver waterfall. The silver waterfall has to do with feeling like you feel like in your life previously, like you've constantly always made negative connections with people, and you just feel like a high level of needing to protect yourself and just wash and cleanse yourself, and it's like this silver waterfall or whatever it's like some type of cleansing crystal water like highly praised uh blessed water where it's like like it's all for some spiritual crystal bath cleansing you know regenerating yourself and washing off all impurities and just making your your mind and your thoughts as clear as the water and just like get and just like Doing a deep scrub of anything that is like harmful and it isn't isn't nurturing it to, to your body and your spirit. You know what I'm saying? Even your own thoughts, even your own worries, the people that you have around you, just making sure that you have a healthy, clean environment, that you're eating clean, just like everything. It's like doing some type of like spiritual recharge. You know what I understand what I'm saying? It's like where you you see how this person is naked, cleansed, free, you know. Um, just reparenting, I feel like it's learning how to take care of yourself. I don't know if you might have had like some type of toxic childhood where it's like maybe you didn't have like a lot of nurturing energy around you. I don't know if your parent wasn't like a very affectionate type of person or whatever, but it's like learning how to take care of yourself in a way that I feel like you should have kind of taking care of yourself or things that should have been taught to you when you were younger so it's like having to learn how to love yourself again and reteach yourself how to be more balanced and be more generous to yourself here even though like this is like supposed to be the love part uh portion of the reading like it seems like the love portion of the reading is more so about 
not focusing on love, but focusing on yourself so that you can generate that energy of love around you. And in some aspects, a lot of people have been taught negative patterns from like their upbringing. You, you, you see what I'm saying? So I understand where it's saying that having to reparent yourself, having to learn stuff that learn stuff in a healthy way that necessarily wasn't talked to you when you were younger you know so let's see what we got here and it's like cleansing yourself like truly cleansing yourself so that you can like high vibe on a high level because it seems like you have passed some type of test you have broke some type of like frequency where you were in a deep learning curve it's like you have access to new people, new things. I feel like you need to like understand how to love again. And how to open yourself to that frequency of love. And how to be accepting of love and new people. And I, I really feel like this has to do with trusting people. And it's it's like you don't you not just going off of your emotions. You going off what your intuition is saying because I feel like you in this void of like feeling emotionless, like not even knowing how to accept love because I feel like you always went with your heart instead of with what logic and what your intuition is telling you. Now it's like, no, you're just my friends. You know what I'm saying? Like reparenting yourself is like you don't just fall in love. You don't just take you don't just take anything. You know what I'm saying? It's like, no. I have to relearn how to accept love and what healthy love is. Okay? So let's see what this says. Have you lost sight of what's really important? Remember a time when life was simpler and the world seemed like a giant playground just waiting to be explored? Perhaps it's time to rediscover that world together. All right, so it looks like here, like, again, it's like, have, okay, so I'm getting like someone having to go out and meet friends, like, meeting people, talking to people, like, enjoying life is something about, um, you see how she's seated, you see how, I feel like this is someone that gets dressed up pretty just to sit in the house and, and watch people like on TV or something like that. It's like the two of swords is not someone making movement. The six of swords is someone making movement. So, again, with these two cards being right here, it's like you need to like you're already dressed. So it's like don't. Go in your head and talk yourself out of leaving. Do you understand what I'm saying? Like, it's like you got somewhere to go. You got people to meet. And it's like, maybe you don't know these people, but it's a good time. Like, don't go with the expectations looking to for love or, you know what I'm saying? Just go and enjoy yourself. Like, that's kind of what I'm getting. Like, there's someone that needs to go out and enjoy their self. And I feel like... Again, have you last lost sight of what's really important? Remember a time when life was simpler and the world just seemed like a giant playground just waiting to be explored. I feel like it's all about taking the opportunity to make friends. And again, this says, learn to grow from wisdom of your feelings by allowing yourself to be friend rather than deny them. Be friend. Read this. It's like you don't have to fall in love with everybody or everybody don't have to be like your best friend. You know what I'm saying? I feel like you know enough. You know enough how to trust your energy and your intuition with people. And again, like, you know, like Scorpio got that psychic energy. Like, you know, you know what I'm saying? You know. Okay, again, now I'm going right here with this 
bear in reverse. I feel like this mass. I feel like sometimes you have to shield like how dominant you are. How dominant of a powerful person that you are so that people can feel comfort comfortable around you. Because I don't know why I feel like people are like intimidated by you or something. It's like, you know, the bear versus the dog. It's like the dog comes off more friendly, more loving, more, I don't know, the bear. I, I don't know. I do not like that bear card on here. But, I, I mean, the bear is like a good card, though. But God, Lee, why he gotta look like he got the robber suit on and shit? You got the Knight of Cups. Okay, I like that. The Knight of Cups go after what he want. And then you got the Fox too. So, oh my God. Okay, with this Knight of Cups here, I feel like this person is a jokester. Like, you might just be a jokester. I feel like a comedian. Like, you could, like, legitimately be a stand-up comedian. But it's like, I feel like you don't really use your talents like that. And then you got the Four of Wands. So, it's like, again, this is like some type of celebration and get-together. Like, a party. Like, a very, like, loving and, like, communicative atmosphere. Like... I feel like you might end up like being invited to some party or get together and it's like you're like this big jokester. You have all of this talent and gift. I don't know if you end up see I just feel like you end up entertaining every fucking body and it's like you end up you see how this horse is in this stable. It's like uh isn't that horse in the stable? Yeah, it's like Kind of a very like romantic feeling or something like that. I don't know. It's like you end up. I feel like being in the life of some party or something like that. And it brings you some type of stability. I don't know if it brings you. Like some type of prominence or something like that. I feel like something is being highlighted to your gift and your skills and your cunningness. It's like you could be quick with it. You could be um, very quick with comebacks or something like that. And it's like it's like you build a lot of attention for some reason with this full bonds. I, 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 I'm just feeling like some type of celebration around you. It's like you end up being invited to like a lot of things. And again, I don't know why I don't feel like, even though this is a four of wands, I know four of wands is like marriage and all of this stuff like that. Um, again, I see with this, it looks like a moon behind this knight of cups. It's like, oh, this is a knight of cups. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, the knight of cups. So the knight of cups is someone that is like offering that cup that offering love they but again it's like I, I feel like this person comes off like a jokester and he's like are you fucking kidding me like i feel like this is someone you not take it seriously because this person plays a lot and just like always laugh but it's like i feel like a friend I don't know why it's just like you might fall in love, but you fighting with yourself to fall in love. I feel like it's a friend. It's someone. It's like it's more than what meets the eyes. Like this person really compliments you like a fucking vibe. And I, I feel like. Maybe because the connection is so, so strong and you just like, it's like you're trying to deny the love or you're trying to deny it or you're just trying to keep it like your friends or something like that. But I really feel like there's, there's something deep. There's something in it with the four of wands and it's like, 
And again, you see how this person is putting on this fucking mask. And I don't know because the, the boss could be like, that could be like your boss or like your supervisor or something. Because like, I got to look that shit up, y'all. Hold on. Strength, authority, power, protection, dominance. It says the bear could represent strength and power. Though there may be a gentle person behind the bear's face on this car, her assertive energy is quite intimidating. Even a kind maternal person can be overbearing and dominant. This card indicates an authoritative figure, someone who commands attention and respect. Alternatively, the bear may represent a resourceful person who wisely manages his materials and assets. You might do well to heed the wisdom and protection of someone who offers to mentor or advise you, especially in the area of financial decisions. The bear defends its territory and its resources, but she might also protect her own and offer, safe, and offer safety and security. So again, remember when I was saying it's like, I said something about putting on a mask because it's like some people may be a little intimidated or something like that. And it's like you could do it with jokes uh, or something, but I feel like there's a developing friendship. You're changing from what was taught to you in the type of relationships and connections that you've seen. You're reparenting yourself. I feel like you're learning how to cleanse all a whole bunch of like worry and negative thoughts from around you. I feel like you just want to be pure and naked, like uh, just clean and pure. It's like you want to be cleansed. Uh, everything that's happened and that you, you don't want to carry any of that with you. And like I said, I feel like someone's come a long way and I, you're not budging until you intuitively know what to do. You know what I'm saying? It's like, you know, to don't just fall in love with people because the connection is just off the chain just you know it's just very intense and just powerful you know not to just jump out there and fall in love with people but and, and again i feel like you're trying to put this mask trying to put this mask on of like having some type of control but there could be like this secret fucking like energy like this companionship like that you know it's like you could know that this is trying to be the one but you trying to like have some control but there's like some secret hidden shit that you know what i'm saying and learn and grow from the wisdom of your feelings by allowing yourself to befriend them rather than deny them remember i'm saying it's like it's like trying to deny some type of fucking connection, y'all. Like, I'm serious. And this shit is like... I want to say can legitimately turn into like some serious level commitment type of shit. So, Scorpio, I'm going to say like you need to cleanse yourself. You need to wipe yourself down because... Don't self-sabotage some shit. It's I don't know. Girl, so, 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 so. Hello, I'm gonna be on the lookout. Look, I'm gonna be on the look. I'm gonna be on the lookout for it. How you doing? I, I'm gonna be on the lookout for it. Anyway, Scorpio, let me get the hell up out of here. I love y'all. Y'all hit the like button. Peace.